Happy Valentine's Day to all who celebrate. Happy V Day. Happy V Day. Happy Madam Web Day. To those who observe, it's Madam Web Day. It's going down. It's going the f- down at AMC where Madam Web has taken over the theaters. I'm I'll be watching tonight. Madam Web is kind of casting her spell across this great this weary nation. Madam Web is galvanizing the girls and the gays. In moments Did of one like, of the dogs fart. I think so. One of the dogs just unleashed like a sausage fire. It was unholy. It certainly was in well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It was is a cabbage fart. Oof. That's mango. Tony makes. Tony will fart I, audibly. Mango, he doesn't fart that much though. Tony farts audibly like toots, but no smell ever happens. That's an old man fart. <laughs> that is. It's also Mango's birthday. Today is my baby's birthday. He's eight years old. Born in Modesto, California. Happy birthday to the one out here really doing the damn thing. He Mango. really is like a Central Valley baby. You know, yeah, they're both Valley boys. They are. They're well, Cal- he's Central. He's. I knew a girl from Modesto that came to my boarding school, and now that I'm remembering her, I do feel that maybe Mango and her share a similar energy. She was worse, but <laughs> chill. <laughs> she was unchill. Mm. But like, it really made me like going to a school where it's like lots of different people from towns in California yeah. go. You start to just make up what the towns are like based on how the people that arrive, yeah, are are. I think it's good that Simon extracted him from Modesto. Definitely. Um, Modesto also makes me think of like Lacey Peterson. Was that where they were? Or like Fresno or one of those nose. Birth. B- birth. <laughs> birth. 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 California towns that end in O are really not. California is pretty. If you think about it. Really Vale-Vale- think Vallejo? about it hard. Vallejo, San Luis Obispo, Modesto, um, Fresno. Val- all cursed. Val- San Bernardino. Valeria. Valerian. Viceria. What's the, the golden Sicario? State killer? <laughs> Sicario. <laughs> but Madam Webb is sure to make a dent in our culture. She already has. We need moments like this to come together over something that critics are calling. That's the air purifier. Oh, okay. <laughs> it sends the fart and it's clearing it out. <laughs> Critics are hailing it as the greatest film of our year so far. They are calling Madam Web a, quote, Chernobyl-level disaster. Someone, I read a review that was like, this is what happens when you can tell really smart people just like... Weren't at the... Weren't in the mix. Were in the mix, but maybe were like led astray. That's... Generous. very <laughs> generous. My favorite That's is... incredibly generous. Someone tweeted... Um, the writers of Madam Web, <laughs> like all the projects that they've worked on collectively oh, over saw. the past Morbius. years. Truly. I saw Morbius. The way that some people are out here booking and being employed and probably making hand over fist amounts of money writing Morbius and Madam Web is honestly enough to debt. I honestly, though, respect. I respect the hustle of being a truly piece of shit writer who makes tons of money. There are many of them. You have no choice but to respect them. I stand. They must own multiple houses and cars. I see that. They're out here literally shitting on a page and turning it in to like an office worker, an exec of some sort. And it gets the stamp of approval and then it gets made. I saw I saw in this. That the movie was has been in development for a while, like since maybe pre COVID. They couldn't crack the web. But I'm I'm. It's funny to me that Sydney Sweeney is a supporting role because I feel like n- if she had if the project had been greenlit now, she would be the le- she would be Miss Webb herself. I believe that her character is meant to have like a bigger role in the sequel. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if the Morbius writers are available to <laughs> drum up a sequel, to scrape a sequel out of their toilet bowls Is this Mar- and paint the pages. Is she Marvel? It's... Who knows? So that means she's an Avenger now. 
Miss Webb. But and we what, don't know. It's what like is Marvel? the power? She like can, she's clairvoyant. Don't ask me. Apparently, the real Madame Webb, the true m- m- Mademoiselle Webb, was. Um, this shocked me. I know. Because we were looking into it this weekend, and the real Madame Webb, the OG, was an elderly woman who was blind. I, that would have been cool. You could have cast, like, you said June Squibb. I would Shirley fully McLean. watch that. Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> Ellen Burstyn. Ben- Annette Benning. Ellen Annette- Burstyn. She's a little creepy. Ellen Burstyn? After Requiem for a Dream, I've never been able to see her in the same way ever again. I f- love her. I mean, I... I love her, but she scared the living daylights out of me. It was, it was too real. It was too good. It was too good or too real. Sometimes people are so good in their performance that you never can look. That it changes you on a molecular level. But and also, for me, I can't I can't even look at her. I can't really I'm still reeling from what they've made her do in the Exorcist Believer. Where that they, was they elder literally blind that's elder her. abuse. And she was blind to that. She could easily just transition smoothly. They love to take like an elderly <laughs> woman and the only chance they have at like doing the job that they grew up doing and like booking a job is to like humiliate themselves in like a horror reboot. But Madam Webb, I'm I'm tickled. I'm tickled by the uh press junket that Dakota did where she seemed pretty unenthusiastic about which is her normal state but I love extra it. unenthusiastic i love when she goes i didn't even know if it was gonna be good i like when some gay she's gonna, she went a bit rogue she no? did, she's always going a little rogue she's a little bit rogue this gay was interviewing her in a press junket and was like did you know that you went viral for like a very like specific line in the trailer and she she went yeah someone showed me this she why was, what was it why and it was the thing about my my mom worked with him when she was researching spiders in the amazon (laughs) and she goes why did that go viral and he basically was he didn't say it but he he's trying to tell her in like kind terms that like she's now a camp gay icon and she goes and the gays both respect her but also are eviscerating her and that's what it truly means to ascend but and she she went what a silly thing and i was like that made her even more cunt to me well i just I respect her for being... I think it's a bit her humorlessness. I just... I She's, to me, the best case Nepo baby. She's unimpressed by Hollywood. But she's like, I might. I just should because it's I'm three generations deep in Hollywood. I'm sexy. I have... I grew up with only famous parents, including Antonio Banderas. Mm-hmm. I'm hot. I have bangs. And I'm... People, people love me. People love me, and she and she does cool shit. I I respect her. I think she's if you want if you're gonna be a nepo baby, be her. They got our asses again. God, <laughs> it was DHL last time. It was DHL this time. I literally thought it was like Dakota Johnson's team coming to like slit our throats. I think the only one who can really humble her is Gwyneth. But I think they're besties. Apple. Apple is the only one that can truly humble her. Because they're sort of because the that same. is the act- the newest younger nepo baby. And also, Deco- or Apple is the third generation. She like- is Dakotes. Yeah. Think about that. Why don't you think about that? Why don't you think about that? Shove it up your pipe and smoke it. Um, but I'm excited to see. Is web. Madam weave her webs. At first, I thought it was web with two B's. It's not. Mm-mm. It's just web. I'm sure. That's Mandela effect because I, I thought, truly I have been too. thinking this whole time that it's web with two B's. Mm-hmm. I posted a video of myself that I deleted and because I was like, this might be too niche. Where I pretended to be someone getting a call, and they're also named Madam Web. <laughs> got the wrong web um Kristen stewart's rolling stone cover oh i saw it so (sighs) hot it's the year of the les the year of the year of the les has begun she's like finger yourself in her jock strap yeah it's really good i love it it's hot i'm so excited for that movie me too i like i think it's my most looked forward to movie of the spring of q1 when does it come out? I think next month. Okay. Not soon enough. Like the, it's literally 
the I can't think of anything like what a great concept a female bodybuilder yeah in like a Nevada town done this is what we need done um I love her Stuart I need more she's an incredible actress she would have been good in true detective night country oh if she God. was Jody's character and it was two young cops in Ennis mm-hmm. and she was a whore the whore of the town she has Jody energy, obviously, I know. for obvious reasons. But like, I think maybe it should have been two younger cops that just get like thrown to Ennis because they're like, just I, like, they're like, Neh. I like that it's an older, like a middle-aged woman. I'm fine with that. I just wish it was like. I just don't think she's unlikable enough. She's too sweet. She's a sweetie. She is. She kind of has a Katie Maloney haircut grown out. Jody is every role she plays she's you know what she is she's like she's like a straight a student because mm-hmm. she literally like went to, she was she like went to yale and this speaks like multiple languages i think but like she's she's just too she's like wholesome you know she's too good to be bad yeah i've never seen her play other than an elysium play a bad per a bad like a villain i've yeah. never seen her play a villain um wait did you see i was like going to turn on my safety show marvelous is mrs Maisel the mm. other day and amazon is now charging to go ad free they're saying if you want to not see ads on prime video you have to pay 2.99 a month really yeah when did this happen this happened like a few days ago i I got the alert i'm furious because i know there's like freebie which is like you can watch any movie on that but there's ads i don't with ads but like what the you mean to tell me that you're gonna charge 150 dollars a year and be giving this thing away like set the precedent that like this is what it is like you get you've always gotten this and then you're gonna say sorry sorry we actually are gonna need two dollars and 99 cents more if you don't want to be trolled like you amazon like has go yourself they don't need the money no they have they have too much money give us this we need one thing or just like grandfather people in Be like, everyone knew that's now not a Prime member, you have to pay. But everyone that's been a Prime member, you don't. Yeah. That's, I was like, bald daddy, he made me mad that day. I've given him a lot of grace. No, I know you I've given him many shreds of grace. So they just like wheeled this out overnight, kind of? They just were, one day I opened it up and it was, that day was Sunday and it said that. that. I don't like the like, that is also like gaslighting. It's crazy. It's, it's like no, we know, we were always like this. It's insane behavior. Uh, overnight changes. You like you said, you have to really like. We're all so fragile right now. It's like whenever Instagram or whatever would change, they're like, you know, like overnight they would change. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like we need time to process these things. You're gonna have to soft shoe. We are a very fragile society right now, and we've all like we've all been through so much, and. You know, you can't expect us to just overnight adapt to paying Amazon fees. So you're going to charge me $36 a year to not see your ads when I've already been a prime customer for years. They they heard you ask that question and said, yourself. They said, yeah, we are. And you'll do it too. And you'll do it. And And they know I will. God damn it. That's the thing with these big... They're drunk with power. People who are drunk with power right now need to get taken down a notch or two. Bezos and and Ms. Sanchez just moved to Florida to avoid taxes or whatever. Like Mm. they're, you know, they're just... You know what? He also just dumped like $4 billion. $4 billion worth of stock. Something's happening. I don't like it one They're getting out. I'm telling you, it's beginning. The bunkers are opening and the rich, they're finding, they're going to their escape hatches soon. I know. There's only one way to move forward. 
if you really want to stick it to them, and that's to divest and go full monk mode. Or just sing Fast Car by Tracy Chapman, the ultimate American song. It is. Yeah. It's a timeless tune that's you that's the most bipartisan thing we can imagine. It could bring everyone together. It can. And it's like how true it is thirty years later, right? You own a fast car. I got a job. I got a job. Everyone's just trying to get by. You know what I mean? True. Um a performance artist auctioned off his skin for seven figures. His whole skin? His all his flesh a person bought and then once he dies like before he dies there will be 12 photos he was selling it in 12 portions 12 photos will be taken of the flash as like a placeholder for the art collector then once he dies i guess he'll be skinned and then the flesh will be given to the person that bought it is this an old man or an old man or woman or an older man I believe. Okay. So are they looking to die soon? No, I think it's just like preemptively. Like an organ donor kind of thing. It's not really organ donation. It's more of like a, a fire sale. Damn. I'm interested in that. So like you're going to, it's almost like taxidermy, like mount me on your wall. I don't know what happens to the flesh. Like if it gets pinned or mounted in some way. Or you get like a dried out boxes of uh-huh. flesh. But I'm like, this feels radical and I'm into it. Yeah. I'm into selling my body off for parts while I'm still alive and making money and knowing that when I'm dead, someone will have like a, my baby toe. It's a little it's a little kinky. Yeah. That guy, whoever's buying it or, or lady or them is a freak. No. Or they're really into this artist and they just are like, I want your there's flesh. There's a flesh head. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a little Texas chainsaw, Ed Gain. Making a lampshade out of someone's skin. It is. Maybe they want to wear it. I don't know like what form it comes in. In my like darkest vision right now, it's just a full like skin suit. With like eye hole, empty eye sockets. and It was going to be up for auction, but then a collector buys ev- bought every lot in advance. He was going to... St- oh, he oh, was just wow. selling his tattooed tissue. That's nice. So not even all the flesh, just the tattoos. Oh. I'd sell a toe. Yeah. I'd sell fingies and a toe. I'd like, sell all my toes and fingers. After you die. Well, yeah. After I die. Yeah. Like, I want to be cremated anyway, so, like... Give it away. Yeah. Give it away, give it away, give it away. I'd sell my head, I guess, but I would need to know the person that's... Actually, I wouldn't sell my head. I'd sell an eyeball. Mm, Just have my eyeball preserved. (laughs) I want my eyeball kind of, like, bobbing around. You know what you would sell your eyeball in the form of what? is the meme of Carly Kloss going to the Met Gala. I but would. then your eye has to be mounted in the compact yeah. case. Or just have my eye kind of like lava lamp style, just bobbing around and like uh, We could co we could co sell our eyeballs in lava lamp form and make more money. To people on Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Look forward to that. That's the future of podcasting. The co hosts sell their Sell off your body and yeah. your flesh. To the highest bidder. Mm-hmm. That's very Cronenberg. It's cool. Mm-hmm. It's radical. It's making me think about all the possibilities. Yeah. I mean, I'm always fascinated about like body preservation. Like didn't, isn't Lenin the Marx, the communist leader like preserved or something in Russia? I don't know. It's always... You've seen those where it's like a little girl preserved or something and she's lit- she's like, yeah, it's freaky. I don't love like fetuses preserved in jars. Oh, no, no, not that. And I don't like heads like Silence of no. the Lambs style. But mm-hmm. like, I think like a toe, like if you want the toe, you can have the toe. Freeze like my toe. If you toe. wanted my foot, my big old honker <laughs> to just remember some size 1142s, by all means. You want to cryogenically freeze your foot. I want at least six figures, though. 
Yeah. Yeah. For a foot? A hundred percent. Upwards. Like upper six figures. I feel like this artist, like I didn't know who he was. And he's getting seven figures from like a big old collector. We got to get Simon to make some art world connections for us yeah. and then we can get we can get to work on like yeah. our lava lamp idea and my foot idea and we can just make some plans mm-hmm. and monetize yeah let's strategize the cast of vpr should honestly be doing this tom sandoval should be doing this to ensure a financially sound future which because right now the f- <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking too like, I'm not right. worried about Ariana. I think no. she's fine. But I'm, like, worried for Tom Sandoval. We'll get to it. Okay. One thing I saw is that Meghan Markle has landed another podcast deal. And I congratulate... I'm, like, I can't help but stand another scam. Getting a huge <laughs> advance and flopping. And then getting Truly another one. dropping the ball and having, like, your boss essentially say, like, you're a con artist. And then immediately getting another deal. I cannot help but appreciate her. It's hu- much like the Madam Web writers. Mm-hmm. You have to admire the hustle. I admire the Duchess. She has a new Bob. She's a Bob. She has a new website where they're using no. they're using The Tag is back? No, it's their website. Okay. But they're using their royal names mm-hmm. and people are not happy about it. Well, their kids are now, their kids are officially now going by Prince and Princess. Yeah, and they're going back to Duke and Duchess. They said, F you, Queen. You're dead. That's pretty cool. We'll do what we want. To have. That's a very Countess Luann vibes. It's chic to have a prince, because they're official Prince and Princess now, because he, the King Charles, like. He said, that's okay. Scepter. Okay. I just love these American born royals. Do they have to be called Prince by, like, their preschool teachers? I think it's their official title, Prince and Prince. Archie and Princess Lilibet of Montecito. That's wild. It's wild to me. It's so cool. That is cunt. Mm, I think it is. I think it's end days. It's no. You can something can be end days and cunt at the same. Yeah, time. Yeah, it's both. Mm-hmm. But it's also cursed. But yeah, there. My whole thing is like, haven't you, we had enough of them? We have. We have had enough. But I'm also like. Listen, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You didn't want to be royals. That's fine. You went through hell. Like, but now you also want to be royals again. So it's like. They should just go back. What's the big hum? He's going to. He's is, about to croak. He's about to croak. Anyway. Will's going to cut Harry off. So I heard <gasps> the second that he gets the power, he said, no more money for you. I'm still. That's I, kind of cool. I'm still a Kate truther. I'm I'm getting I want to like get to the bottom of what she what really happened to her. What she went to hospital for or if she even really went yeah. there. Or she was like sent to the booby hatch for like 2 weeks. Mm-hmm. Me thinks we'll never know. We'll never know. Um Okay, anyways. so let's get into the reason for the season. I'm Carrie. I'm Lara. And you're listening to Sexy Unique, Unique Podcast. Floating Eyeballs Pump Heads. Pump Heads. So this to be continued was a real reach, we'll say. Oh my God, I forgot that it was a cliffhanger last episode. Because the be- to be continued literally lasted two minutes. It was just Sandoval. It was someone closed a door and then someone else walked over. Mm-hmm. Sandoval's... 41st birthday party filled to the brim with randos <laughs> is still going. I'm still haunted by Brett. Who's that? The one who went up to James and was like, the friend group is divided and Katie has obviously banished me from from like our reality. And James was like, who are you? I'm haunted by a house full of people that I don't recognize on a show where, that I've watched for 10 years where I've never had that experience before. It's pretty jarring. It's crazy schwartz comes over and santa was like man james really like put me on blast man demanded an apology for the ultimate betrayal and then i said well, what about you what you did and then schwartz immediately goes oh no why did you do that because you should have said yes telling him he should have just been like i'm sorry maya's body language maya the dog oh sitting next to schwartz she's in freeze mode <laughs> Been I'm through. sending my love. She's been through f- hell. 
This was the first time I've ever heard Schwartz say something where I went, he's right. He's trying. He is trying. He's having a reckoning in like a very Schwartzian way. Dare I say later in the episode, I was kind of like, this is sad to watch. Yeah, but it's also like kind of fun. No, it's so satisfying. I mean, here's the deal. Tom Sandoval is the most compelling person on this show right now. Mm. Like he's giving us the most cringe. Mm -hmm. He's totally delusional. Yes. And villain. He's the villain. Therefore, and no one's matching that energy in any way. Like this is not historically a show about people like bettering themselves and like rising above tragedy. This is a show about, people being at their lowest lows and being like delusionally committed to a life of hell. And he is giving that and I'm eating it up. And all I want to watch is Tom Sandoval in a hell of his own making. And we cut on over to emo night. What is emo music? What is emo music? Like, I don't know what it is either. Like, I'm like in the camp of Lala where I don't know. Oh. Like what's an emo band? Like senses fail. Never heard of Taking it. Taking back Sunday. Okay, know that band. Um, Fall it's Out like, Boy when they were like first starting out. So bands that are like, oh, I can't yeah. wait. Coheed and Cambria. Warp Tour. I used to go to Warp Tour. Warp Tour is emo? Yeah. I thought that was like Fred Durst. No, that's like um, Ozfest or whatever. Like Warp Tour is like. I think I was in boarding school when emo music really hit the scene and then i just missed were, it because i was gone for two years you were and like I, in a fallout shelter i didn't know like what culturally was going on and then emo th- was a thing and then i was just like it's 2003 like i barely like i have been off the f- radar i was really into myspace so i was very emo and i would go into philly and go to concerts my at- sister loved taking back sunday yeah well she's my age right she's 34 she's 34 yeah so she's we're in the same camp like that was very much like my okay. age group you might that was kids you were like into i miss stuff that you were probably into like because you were in high school when i was in middle school so i think it's just a, it's really like a it's like a really short window where it's like three years is means a lot with emo music do you know what i mean yeah but i was just gone you were and you were I also off the grid you know, I was off the grid. But I would go to Warp Tour. Like I would go mosh and like crowd surf. I crowd surfed. And you'd go, oh, yeah. I, liked, I didn't really like that music as much as I liked Screamo. And Screamo is the same thing as emo, but it's just not, screaming. Emo is a little more like melodic. I mean, there's melodic Screamo and melodic metal, which okay. is also really good. But Screamo is a little darker okay. and more heavy. And then there's bands that mix that, like Alexis on Fire, which is screamo and emo, where they would sing and have a screamer. Like Sheena's Good as Gold cover. Yeah, but like... But real. Yeah, but real. But like I would go to like basements in church basements and like mosh in I love spirities. that. Okay. But I wasn't... I didn't East dress Coast emo. style. Because my mom wouldn't. You were a prep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, your mom would literally be like, absolutely not if you tried to dress emo. Well, one time I went to Warp Tour with my two girlfriends who were also Olivia and Alana. Olivia, shout out. She listens. Um, And they brought me to my first Warp Tour. And I was so excited waiting for Olivia's mom to pick us up, to pick me up. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and I was waiting with jeans and a really tight band tee that I found. Mm-hmm. And I looked like skin tight, skinny jeans, skin tight. Like I looked, you looked pretty gay. And my mom, I was about to leave and she went, what's this? <laughs> I said, I'm going to warp tour. And she goes, not like that. You need to change right now. Dorothy brought the hammer down. So I had to change. <laughs> she goes, you're not allowed out of the house. She like said, that. not my son. She she was not ready yet. I'm obsessed that. with that. She said, How old are you? 15? 16. Do you know what she's... I mean... Mother's this boy. This is an iconic line. My mom is a very... Com- like as we know, is a very compassionate, amazing person. Oh, she's a queen. But she said... But she's also not going to let her son go out like that. She said, you look like an extra on Will and Grace. <laughs> Which is such a good... She read you to She read me... F- filth her she was all about reading you to filth when you were a teenager she was she's had some she was like 
<laughs> low key like a comedy writer. Yeah. She's a funny fucking person. She's a person. really really amazing lady. And honestly, she was right. She was right. And I and I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, "Damn it. Damn it. You needed mother's touch." Mm-hmm. So I had to go put on like a normal outfit. Shorts. Love that. She's looking out for you. But Warp Tour was f- fun, but it was disgusting. Where was it? In a field? No, it was in the Tweeter Center parking, the old Tweeter Center in Camden on the waterfront where they would do like Dave Matthews concerts mm. in the parking lot. So it was like an old, asphalt hot, tour? tar, like black tar, steaming hot, like in the dead of August. It was like, f- yeah, fast when yeah. they used to do that here. And they had a monster energy drink bar where they just handed out free monster. And I would, but I was going to see Circus Survive, which was my band mm-hmm. in Philly. My favorite, my dad. I was a deadhead for them. Okay, I had a crush on the lead singer. You Anthony. hit the road. You toured. I did, and and they like knew me. <laughs> the bass player knew me. I love that. And he pointed to me once. Cute. So I was a I was a little emo kid. Have you ever been to emo night in L.A.? No. Do you see how many people were there? Too many. I was like, is this, is there like a thousand people at emo night? Like this is the biggest crowd I've ever seen the in my life. The biggest crowd I've ever seen in years. No, I'm, I, emo is like, you cannot anymore. Do you know what I mean? Once mm-hmm. you ate, when, once you're in college, it's no, no. Are the killers emo? No. Okay. Well. I'll show you emo. Thanks for clearing that up. James comes to emo night and he's in the green room and reveals to everyone what just happened at Tom Sandoval's party. Mm. And everyone agrees that Sandoval is, has no more friends and the only people that want to hang out with him are his employees, other people he pays and Kyle Chan. They're basically Ariana is like, he has no one in his life being honest with him, which is true. I think he has, he's surrounding himself with yes people. Yeah, but Kyle Chan seems like a good friend. Yeah, and Billy Lee seems like a good friend. Okay, I feel like we have to... Not for me. That was me. I love that. Right? You feel like you have to what? I feel like we need Kyle Chan and Billy Lee to be official friends of because I need to know what they're saying about this. Like, Tom needs some friends of talking heads in his corner because it's a little too it's not balanced bring Lily, bring billy lee back yeah like i don't i'm unclear why you're not just giving her friends of status like and we, having her weigh in because part of the fun of seeing a delusional psychopath on vanderbump rules is that you also hear from their psychotic friends <laughs> And when we can't do that, it's just like you're not fleshing it out enough. Um, we fe- we I didn't realize this, but I guess w- after Sandoval f- Kristen in Tom's bed, he used his shirt to wipe his d- off. James. Or James, sorry. And he used Tom's condoms to I mean, f- Kristen. Let's be real. None of you used any condoms. No. <laughs> Come on. But using, using someone's pack of condoms is not as bad as wiping your d- on their shirt. Like that's literally like a dog pissing on... They're nasty. They're a nasty bunch. Guys are f- up. But also like... It's also like kind of gay. It's very queer coded. Mm-hmm. And just like imagining being in Tom Sandoval's apartment. Oh, fuck. With that carpet. And like Fucking. the AC units and a popcorn ceiling. And like it's hot. And like begging someone to f- you in there is like depraved Mm -hmm. and then like and being like i need some disgusting dirty shirt being like covered in like pubes and like kind of sticky sweat and like you have a little bit of coming down your leg (laughs) you're like i have to get a plan b because you definitely didn't use a condom (laughs) and then you may might also have like been on the last stages of your period so it's a little messy oh my god but that's like that is the kind of place where you just have like horned up sex. No shame. No shame. It's fun. But, but like But like to have it But in that you're apartment. like it's a little bit bloody vibes mm-hmm. on the And James is like, and James oh, is like let me get oh, this hey. shirt. I've got this. I'll wipe it on I'll wipe I'll wipe my innards on his shirt. <laughs> 
I'll wipe my penis off on a shirt. I'm going to wipe my dick off on his shirt. That'll be fun. And then he'll smell it. I want him to smell it. And Kristen's like, okay. Kristen's like, f- yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen like lights up his cig. Um, it's kind of hot. It is, but it's also but just it's like, also so sick. It's depraved. That dep- that apartment was a depraved den of sinful sex. Yeah, isn't that where she got sucked Jax's dick? Yeah, they banged to drive. <laughs> everyone's was, everyone from the entire almost sleeping. the entire cast because sandoval schwartz and Jax all used to live in that apartment together and Jax just lived in the living room with a sheet and they called all the girls that he plowed sheet girls and they all so it's safe to say all those three have in there james Kristen have in there ariana's in there let's be you're, i think we're being a little generous with schwartz i don't think he ever finished <laughs> and probably katie's in there you're oh, all connected by this that is their true detective night country whale tunnel the amount of loads, what if in true Det- <laughs> the amount of loads baked into that carpet and the hot it's a crispy sun. carpet it's a crispy carpet it is rock hard like you could shatter it Mm-hmm. Like they've never had Stanley Steamer come in, and it's like, kind of it pokes your feet as you walk yeah, over it. You, bare, if you go, if you, you can dare bleed. to go barefoot <laughs> in there, I mean, it's prickly. It's like walking on a little cactus. Laura Lee might have in there at that brunch. I mean, not no. We don't even know. Like anyone could have in there, but what if in True Detective Night Country in the final episode <laughs> they drive and drive and drive through the Alaskan tundra and they come up on the cave the and they bone. descend into the whalebone cave but it, it really is just Tom's old apartment. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it is. Wait, I, I loved when they're back at emo night and Lala goes, I don't understand any of this. And I was I'm like, with her. I love that. Hashtag I'm with her. I don't get it. Um, People are loving it, though. Tom also looks like he's rolling. Schwartz? Sandoval. His eyes are his party. black. And Schwartz comes over and he goes, all right, dude, I'm going to go to emo night. And Tom's yeah. like, all right, man, thanks. It so means a lot that you came, dude. I know I'm a bad look. Meanwhile, at emo night, Katie's like <sighs> losing her mind. Bless you. And James goes, look at Katie. Look at Katie. He's having the time of his life. Sheena performs her screamo version of Good as Gold. She goes, I wanted to be more like, I never wanted to be like a pop star per se. I wanted to be more like Gwen Stefani and Fergie with like their boys in the band. I love that. She's a guy's girl. She's such a guy's girl. She sings her emo cover. I want that. I want Sheena to like achieve her Fergie truth. I think it's doable yeah or yeah like remember when gwen stefani like did questionably you know yeah i think that she's set the bar exactly like as high as it should be and i feel like someone needs to hire sheena to sing the national anthem at a very big sporting event i'd watch it um billy lee hands tom his cake she's the lady of his life Tom reveals that everyone in his life received threats. Billy was called transphobic things, which I believe. Oh, totally. Kyle Chan was... Kyle Chan's life was threatened. Um, Imagine, like, threatening a random jeweler because they're friends with someone that, like, cheated on someone. Yeah. Imagine, like, going online and threatening Kyle Chan. Or just being, like, transphobic in the name of... Like, you got so angry that Tom Sandoval had sex with Raquel Levis behind Ariana Maddox's back, that you logged onto Instagram, found Billy Lee, and went on a transphobic tirade against her. And then you said, that'll really show them. It's and just, you logged off. It's just funny. It's like... It's crazy. It's funny to me that these, these Bravo, these like morally self-righteous bravo fans are probably like her lobbing like transphobic insults at someone and be, but but then being like but in the name of justice yeah it's f-ed up i forgot billy lee is a comedian me too and then you sent me one of her clips and she was actually 
Yeah, she was pretty funny. Kind of funny. Yeah. Um, Raquel didn't text Tom on his birthday. And Billy Lee calls her Raquel. She says, you know, we'll be at a comedy show and you'll just run out when Raquel calls you and you're at her beck and call and you need to like protect yourself right now and move away from her and focus on yourself. Which Billy is... Lee goes, she's healing and now this is about you healing. Tom goes, man, I was really expecting her to call me on my birthday, but I guess she's just figuring her own things out. Yeah, she dropped your ass. She's li- she's in an asylum. I listened to the latest Rogue oh, episode. She dropped a mini sode today, but I listened to like a longer episode yesterday. Yeah. And she reveals also the episode title was incredible. It was Does Tom really even know what love is? Mm. Rogue once again. And she had a pastor on who's an expert about love bombing and she talks about her a love bombing. Pastor. Yeah. It was like mm. weirdly like, like Christian code. It was a bit I think Raquel's perhaps found God. I think she's like open and, but she's learning a lot. She's and mosaic. so she's mosaic curious. What she said though, is that Tom tried to get her to leave the insane asylum early and was saying like, get out of there. Like you don't need this insane asylum. Like you're good. Like you've that's got this girl. Really f- up. I know. And that's when she and her therapist decided to block his ass good. and she stopped talking to him and never responded to another text message ever again. She's at like the greatest rehab for codependency like in the world. And he's asking her, come away with me back to my horrific life in the valley. And she's, you know what I mean? Expecting her to be like, okay. Yeah. That's insane. He really thought like he was just going to have Ariana 2.0. No, she found the meadows. She went rogue. Um, um, the next day, Katie comes to Tom and Ariana's. They play this like fake ass Santa Gold song. It's like <laughs> I, I was like, is this Santa Gold? I was like, the music has is up leveled to like. It's not her, but I was like, damn. AI, yeah, generated versions of songs that you might know. Um, Katie and Ariana are hungover, and they're getting IVs. And vain Anne, life Anne is cleaning up the whole house alone while ariana sits there with maya and at first i was like does she, do they does she like talk to Anne? but i think she does i think she's nice to Anne. yeah when she's not threatening to call the cops on tom she's mm-hmm. nice to Anne. she said Anne's had to clean up everything Anne's like an industry plant in this show anne has gone rogue apparently yeah she has a podcast about like something or the other People are all just, I mean, they are really. They're the marketing. The marketers are marketing. They're suckling off. They're draining Tom. They're draining Scandival of its last drip of blood. Of its last like pre cum it, drops. It's like, it's like in Hocus Pocus when they go. <sighs> like they're draining Sandoval. Yeah. So the girls get IVs. And meanwhile, Lisa is at pump. Alone in the alone in the state of disarray, in the ruins of Pump, which at this point, with all its messy, chaotic, it empty, kind of just looks like normal. It looks like a ruin of something. It kind of looks like a Sarah McLaughlin video from the nineties. And then you see also like seeing all the chairs forward facing in natural sunlight is very jarring because it's like you see how stained they are. She's on the phone with Ken, and her name for Ken on her phone is husband. She goes. We had a good run. We had a good run. What if we made a mistake? She goes, have we done the right thing? What if we made a mistake, my darling? He goes, what do you mean? And she goes, well, if we could go back in time, we could tell the rent to stay what it was. Damn. And they just reminisce on yesteryear together. And then Sandoval comes in with flowers and he goes, hey, dude. <laughs> and Lisa goes, oh, f- I have to go. <laughs> She sits she, down. He sits down and she goes, how are you? Yeah, she's, she basically is like, I don't understand why you're still living together. Yeah, and she does tell him like, the gentlemanly thing to do is to move out and sell the house and move on with your life. Which and is then, true. Which is true. He goes, or one of us could keep it. I put, And it's like, you dumb little 
like just <laughs> f- let it go just move accept the, f- the consequences for your actions and let it go he goes his eyes i think he got some kind of like lid lift or something because his eyes are extra bugging i think he's just like very thin and like he's freaked out he goes oh he's like i put so much money i was like we know you got like you got if you did you put money into some renovation you got new floors that's what you do that's when you get a house you get a house you're the one who decided to hurt this your you know common law spouse's friend so you naturally must leave it's over it's over it's never gonna be the same as it was you gotta just leave give her the house she might sell it immediately but you need to just go start over again he I don't really understand. is not used to any consequences. No. I think that this is just someone that has never really had to bear the consequences of his own actions no. in the 10 years that he's been on TV, at least. His whole life, he's, he's lived, And I think he's a hot he bubble. really thought he would get away with this and like skip off into the sunset and lie about it in the same way he did like 10 years ago. And get to keep the house. And get to like keep the house. But it's like... His world is falling apart because he realizes that like he's not going to get all the things that he thought he was going to get. No, and he's he's existed in this hot, he's in the hot bubble. He can wear the worst clothes and I think Ariana gave him credibility, but I think people just gave him a pass cuz he was hot. Yeah, and he can be really embarrassing, but then you're also like, "Well, I do want to f- him so yeah. it's whatever." So he's now like in this moment where he's like, "Wow, things are not going my way and it's actually And everyone f- hates me. And everyone hates me and it's actually blowing my mind." And like I do think that the reaction to what the ongoing uh, like terroristic assault like <laughs> threats against him and like just is unhinged and i think i think like barring him from going into his own like place like i think that's a but with the house thing especially he's a big dumb <laughs> he needs to just leave give ariana the house you cheated on her naturally you leave yeah it's like in what world does he think hey i f-ed your friend for a year often in this house now you have to leave and I'm because I put a new floor in. Yeah, and I'll buy you out and I'll just stay here. F*** yourself. Yeah, that's a Give true. Give her the house. Sorry, doll. Sorry, doll. Like you made that's your bed. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's what happens when you do what you do. So like I. And I, you're not going to have the goodwill of some. It's not like you broke up amicably and then figured out a like amicable way no. of splitting up assets you shattered her world you literally like ruined this woman's life she's had a depression bun for months and just figured out how to slick it back with a middle part to fool everyone and you're not gonna get to keep the house i'm so sorry but like that that's that that's that and he cannot accept i know that that is that he's sitting there truly shocked that people don't like him because he's his whole life i bet I don't know what he was like in high school. I'm sure he was popular in high school. I worry whole, for a man who is having a comeuppance this late in life. Yeah, who never, hasn't really experienced a that's that moment. No, it's 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 truly insane to me. And Lisa, I'm glad that she keeps being like, why? Like she was even saying that in the Scandal like episode. She's like, why are you still living together? Yeah, get out of there. Leave. Go live with Schwartz. Yeah, move in with Schwartz. Have your bachelor pad. Pick up the pieces of your shitty life. Cheat girls. Move on. Also, it's like, it just is, you don't, you don't, you can't always get what you want. No, but he, he's not accepting that. I know, but it's, it's, I love watching it. I do too, but it's, it's actually blowing my mind that he thinks that this is like, just how it is. I, I'm going to say because I because I redid the floors or put, you know, what is that backsplash thing? Who even cares? Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. The the excuses and the being like, oh, one of us can keep. It's like, no, it's no. over. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> Get out. But now he's really mad at Sheena because. Oh, f- you. I know. Trying to turn it around on. This was like so lame but but i love sheena on the beat as per usual went on her podcast and was like 
I think maybe something did happen with Billy Lee back in the day and they both made a pact and never to talk about it. Well, it was the same day she called Tom to check on him about his friend passing away. <laughs> and then she went on her pod and was like, Billy Lee and Tom fucked. And then she had a guy named Nima come on who was Rachel's brief paramour <laughs> when she, she was knew, living at Sheena's house. Said, after I'm Jinx. about to do some hard hitting journalism and have she, Nima on the pod. I, I think this is a little... Up. yeah she had this guy on who claimed that when she was living at sheena's house during mercury poison gate she begged him to f her on sheena's bed where else were they supposed to yeah play? but also like and and raquel on was, summer moon's bed yeah and raquel was really upset and like called tom and was like spiraling and i think like was like threatening to kill herself or something because she was just like another i think she was just upset well he kind of alluded to that I can't trust anything yeah, you can't he trust says. This but but she but was. But really... I think he totally did infer to Raquel that he and Ariana were in an open relationship, and maybe he didn't use the exact words "open relationship." But I feel very confident that he's the kind of guy that would be like, you know, we each do our own thing. Like we don't ask questions. It's like don't ask, don't tell. Like she's done some stuff, I've done some stuff. Like just alluding to like we're not a hundred percent monogamous yeah meanwhile they are yeah well one of them thinks, one of them thinks they are and then he's like i've been suicidal and then lisa's like what don't <laughs> she goes why are you just telling me that now <laughs> he goes I'm not just out here living my rock star dreams. It's grueling work. It's grueling. I was like, yeah, I love cool. that. It's what a job. <laughs> he goes, it's grueling work. I was battling suicide. And Lisa goes, no, no. She goes, because she, you know, her brother. Her brother passed away. Via suicide. And so she's very sensitive to that. LVP is activated in this I moment. love no, no. She goes, no, no. She, <laughs> you she call goes, the suicide hotline and you go, hey, I'm just at the end of my rope. I'm thinking about suicide. And they go, no, no. No, no. Honestly, that would <laughs> shock me into life. You'd be like, huh? Hmm. She goes, right now, you need to display utter sensitivity and contrition. And none of this speak of this thing I won't name. And she's just very shooketh by it. I told you, if you ever thought that, you must tell me. And then you're not telling me, but now you are. And then apparently Tom said on Vile Files that when Sweet Lady Jane made a cake that said F Sandoval, he called Kyle Chan and he made him come over and take all the guns out of the <laughs> Sweet Lady Jane. Sweet Lady Jane. Sweet drove. Lady Jane drove him to a place of Kyle Chan. Come get the guns. How because, many guns does he have? I don't know. I was like, what guns? What's the army up for militia. Okay, mil <laughs> you have guns at the house. One is enough. What does he have? Like an AR-15? I don't know, but I was like, take all the guns. I man, love it. That's what cake. pushed him over the yeah. edge. Just when Sweet Lady Jane turned on him, he said. Kyle Chan, come get these guns. I am not, <laughs> Annie, get your gun. not trustworthy. And I love like Kyle Chan of all people. Give Kyle Chan friend of. I need more of Kyle Give Chan. Give him a medal. Like, Give him a, a goddamn what a medal. Good guy. He has been in the mix just giving people rings for years now. And we have never had the pleasure of really getting to know who Kyle Chan is. And I want to know. That's called loyalty. That is. He's a good friend. When you're having to go over and ext and get rid of... Do you have to get your suicidal friend's guns out of the house? Because he was because pushed to the brim. By the, on the brim. By, by a cake. You what, but honestly, though, I'm thinking about it. And, like, I could see, like, that, to me, kind of makes sense. Like, it's like, that is so arbitrary and just, like, abject that you would just see that and be like... Yeah, it's one of those small things. It's kind of like Amazon charging two ninety nine. Yeah, it's like the same thing. So Lala and I'm worried for Tom though. Like I'm not. He's gonna be fine. I don't know. I don't know of a person who is experiencing what he's experiencing and having this like total tide shift that. Yeah. Is spurred to a place of Kyle Chan, come get my guns from Sweet Lady Jane turning on you. I don't like, even if you're not actively having suicidal ideations, like, 
No, it's 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 you scary. Can, like, what if you're just like self medicating in a very harmful way after that? Well, I know that's what I'm saying, and I'm like, I think that even if you're not expressing like vocalizing your urge to self harm, you can still self harm and like self destruct. And I feel like we saw a person on the brim on vile files and i am yeah. worried no i don't want anyone to like i do not want anyone on vanderpump rules to die no of course not but i think i do think that he's we ha- we cannot forget though that he's incredibly manipulative like i believe that even manipulative totally. people can have suicidal ideation like when i was going through my addiction and at my most manipulative like i was I wasn't even, I didn't really even have enough energy to be suicidal, but I was like, if I got hit by a car, I'd be fine. Oh, when I was a freshman in high school, I like tried to commit suicide to get my parents to stop grounding me. So I get it. But like, but it's, but I'm just saying he's, he's one to watch, but not in the, in a good way. Katie and Sheena meet for a meal and Sheena is low key talking like Kermit the Frog. Well, first Lala and Ariana go to a store that I need to go to. So they have plethora of candles they had some gifts that you had your eye on yeah like, i thought it was the gift store at first no it wasn't it's not as i mean it was a little love budge there and then katie and sheena meet for drinks and katie sits down and she's katie's like Whoa. everyone's like one annoying thing that i'm like i needed to stop is like the sober curious talk. it's like either shit or get off the pot drinking a beer at one beer a day does not make a sober person. Yeah. Stopping drinking for three weeks is like you just didn't drink for three weeks. <laughs> yeah. That's like a pretty normal thing to do. It's I can't. Um, so they meet for drinks to sort of like settle, smooth things out. She goes, do you have a good mocktail you recommend? Yeah, her voice. <laughs> her voice is true Kermie mode. She goes, I'll have. She goes, a, cock, a mocktail I will have. <laughs> she goes... Speaking of, I do just want to apologize again for inviting him about Schwartz to oh. Katie. Her calm Zoloft vibe has manifested in a Kermie energy. Katie is going on a date with Sheena's bandmate, in quotes, aka cool. like some dude that recorded that Screamo song. Well, best like, of luck to you. I don't you. really give a shit. I feel like that's not going to pan out. And we know that what's coming this season is that Sheena, we found out Sheena kissed. Sheena's babysitter is going to kiss both tom and katie no but we found out that sheena kissed schwartz but did she i think that that's clever editing to make it seem like it was sheena that kissed schwartz but it really is someone else okay um i'm gonna need way more scandavals i need another scandaval well we head on over to vanderpump dogs which always brings fear to my I, a chill runs down my spine every time I see that place. Like people work there from nine to five, surrounded by the stench of piss day that, in, day out. The director of marketing. I'm like, who's this? She's selling sunset vibes. Yeah. I was like, God, Schwartz brings his two dogs in to get groomed. And he like, sits down for a big old talk with LVP. This is sad. His bro- One of the triplets, Bert, has cirrhosis of the liver because he's... A big old alcoholic. So I guess he got Schwartz is really worried because he said a few years ago he got jumped outside of a club and it like never he was never the same after it and he st- he turned to drinking. He he keeps saying he developed a dependence on it. I'm like he's an alcoholic. These people like I love them still not really understanding like what addiction is mm-hmm. because I've just never encountered like a group of people yeah that are so unclear and unaware when it comes to like addiction yeah it's very strange that uh, truly like addiction runs through these people's veins like that's like part of what makes vanderpump rules one of the best shows is because they're pretty much all alcoholics and like drug addicts in their own ways but to have cirrhosis of the liver in your 20s like you have to be really they might be in their 30s okay. either way it's, it's like mother god it's mother god it ain't good i feel he bad. tried colloidal silver schwartz loves those triplets those I are the know, only those basement brothers so he's worried about that and then i'm sad for him she said lisa's like i'm worried about sandoval he's he said he was suicidal and she leans in and she goes that scared the daylights out of me <laughs> and then lisa goes i'm opening up a restaurant in tahoe wolf 
Tahoe, which is a new Vanderpump eatery. She goes, why don't you try and get them all together? Why don't you try to get everyone in Tahoe? She goes, it's going to be the hardest place in Tahoe. This is also the Tahoe trip where I believe they're trying to lure Raquel back. With Graham, which is so sick. Sick. It's up. Also, I'm just like, this is so produced. The Graham thing is despicable. I'm so, I'm truly, it almost makes me like, I almost can't even watch these people. It's going to be the hottest restaurant on the border of California and Nevada. Now Tahoe will forever remind me of that show, American Nightmare. The French. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> His little cabin of horrors. Um, so see you next Tuesday is upon us at Sur. We head back to Fart Palace and um, Lala's corset game. is... I was like, how does she even sit? How could she even like stand up from a seated position? She's You'd have like, to be pulled up. She's like this. She's Pinocchio. I'm like, God. I know. She's cinched to the gods. Schwartz comes and sits with everyone. And she goes, are you just popping in or were you invited? He goes, and I uh, live for that. He goes, oh, I, I, was just, I was sort of just came on my own. And she goes, oh, love that. More. Yeah. I need more people being mean to Schwartz. Mm -hmm. It gives me life. Schwartz looks like shit. Yeah, he goes, uh, I actually brought you a gift because like, I'm sober curious and like this is like a new tropic. Like you should try it. it has no booze in it. And then Allie goes, that's what I'm doing right now. Also being sober curious. And Lala goes, I don't recognize any of this. I don't recognize California sober or sober curious, but do a you boo. And I was like, I feel you. Yeah. Shit or get off the pot. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna i I'm I'm probably like alienating people listening. Well, it's like normal to be to like not drink for yeah long periods of time That's and like okay. experience like sobriety. Like it's abnormal to drink every single day. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah, also Allie like you need to drink because I'm snoozing. Yeah, I'm I, pushing the snooze button on this show. You better gulp up. Everyone's sober except Katie and Ariana. Katie's drank a mocktail last scene. I'm going to need some to get on heroin on this show because <laughs> <laughs> if you're not going to drink, you better be smoking some crack. Hey, do you have a, a mocktail? Do you have? Do you have a mocktail? <laughs> do you have a mocktail? Can I look at your... By any perchance, do you have a mocktail, sir? My goodness, can I look at the mocktail? <laughs> <laughs> My I goodness, do you can have I look a at the mocktail, mocktail menu, please? Please, do you have a mocktail, please? Angelina Jolie and Katie Maloney show up to sir, and the camera bulbs are flashing. <laughs> the go, paparazzi, ma'am, like ma'am, look over here, look over here, and she goes. The paparazzi is out in Princess full. Diana herself descends on Sir. <laughs> they have never known royalty of these ranks before. The walls have never seen royalty like this. It's crazy to see just the the flashes. The flashes are wild. How many people are out there? Do you think a lot? I don't know. Hordes. The absolute like. It's staggering. I was like, the one place I will be staying away from during <laughs> this entire kerfuffle is Sir. Like, I can happily spend the rest of my life never going to Sir we again. We should have gone then. No, people were going. I got so many texts that were like, we're going to see you next Tuesday. And I was like, that's I still what never you been. think. It used to be fun back in the day when it was like very fledgling. The flash. It's like the Gaga song when and her... MVMA performance when she started paparazzi with that's it will I die from those flashing lights <laughs> and it goes into her like they are Diana Diana Princess of Wales <laughs> your Royal Highness your Royal Highness I, I watch a lot of like Diana entering videos mm -hmm. and you just hear it's like late eight, mid 80s your Royal Highness your Royal Highness your Royal Highness that's the vibe that's the vibe of this grand entrance into Sir um, so they all sit down and Sandoval comes in with Kyle Chan. Yeah. I'm telling you the nicest friend in all of California. Schwartz is like laying the f 
groundwork for the stupid Tahoe trip. And then Kyle Chan and Tom arrive and Sandoval is out of his gourd. He sits at a two top and he he sits down and he goes, man, this is the first time having dinner at Sir in a while. I was like, why would you break that streak? I was like, he <laughs> He goes, man, it feels good to be back. It's so weird to be back. Imagine if that was like your alma mater. Man, I haven't had this in a while. You're lucky. <laughs> Why would you? That's a blessing. That's a blessing. I love it. Sheena. Sheena's, Sheena's whole vibe. Sheena's literally like this the whole. She's like this. Schwartz goes, oh, you're, you're kind of giving me, uh, you know, uh, you know, Brit- kind of looking like Brittany. <laughs> she goes, yeah, yeah. She leans in. She goes, Sandoval just walked in. Yeah, he's here with Kyle Chan. Sheena's fierce. She's entered the Matrix. Her heart is pounding because she's ready to... She's planning She knows her... she has to film a scene. Yeah. And they're like, Sheena, just walk... What we're going to ask you to do is just like walk through the room on the way to the bathroom. Also, the way... Where she walks well, in fir- from... Well, first, yeah. Ariana Schwartz is outside and Ariana... She tries talking to Ariana and she goes... Schwartz, I gave up on you a long time ago. You're a lost cause. Well, no, no, no. This is very, oh. very much later. My oh. goodness. Wow. Skipping ahead, trying okay. to get it over with. Okay. Why don't we go in the chronological chain of events? Wow. Sando and Kyle sit down at their two top and they're talking about everything Sandoval's been through, the death of his friend Ali, who every time they mention him, all I can think about is Sheena going, he was really into brisket. <laughs> <laughs> He went, That's the stand he went to the Coachella out. and was really into brisket. He was really into brisket. And Jesse comes over to film with them. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, it's been that. Because I truly believe like no one else will go film with him. So they yeah. have to recruit like, like truly someone that's going to get a day rate for this scene. And Jesse's like, you know, I had to unfollow you on Instagram because I didn't want to be attached to any of the decisions that you made. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, hey, man, it takes a lot to come over to me right now. So I, I really appreciate And then they hug. He goes, I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry you had to go through that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this is their, this is literally their, like, Ukraine war. It's the most, po- it's the most polarizing thing that's ever happened to this group of people. But this is truly like trench warfare that these people are dealing with where they're going Sandoval. But honestly, when you I know think- I had to unfollow you because I just couldn't be attached to your actions. But honestly, when I think about Scandoval, I get like giddy because it was like I'm when it the first two days of it, I was it was exciting. I was truly shocked. I've never known such excitement, such thrill. I was literally like <gasps> imagining this. It was desk. lurid. It was positively lurid. Man, I'm sorry, brother. Because I'm sorry, sorry brother. For I put my, you through hell. This is truly like hell. Vietnam vets yeah. at this point. Schwartz is really trying to get everyone galvanized to go to Tahoe. He's like, I am inviting everyone. I am inviting Sandoval. But like, I figured since you guys are in the same house already, it won't be that awkward, he says to Ariana. And she's like, what the f- we have a mediator. We yeah. have a we have a slave that has to be our go between, so that we never run into each other. And then Lala begins prophesizing. She goes, "He will devastate you." Talking about Sandoval to Schwartz. She goes, "You will never. You will see it coming, and you will be like, I should have gotten out of there while." When I first knew, but he will destroy you. It was Dubois quoted. He will desecrate you. Yeah. If he will shit in your mouth, that's what she says. I was like, Schwartz then. This Schwartz is, will like it. Also, this is when you see Schwartz's true essence come out when he's a real, he's just a, you know, at his core, he's just, he's a. I was also waiting bitch. for him to really turn because I love it when he gets pushed to the edge in his true color show, but he actually did show a shred of restraint here. Ariana goes I gave up on you a long time ago And my life is better for it Which I was like She was your lost cause And he goes Okay you're not the queen of the group Like chill out And I go Sorry doll She is (laughs) She is She very much is And then Schwartz goes Okay That's how we all feel And Lala's like yeah And I was like 
babe, this is how this group works. There's one queen and the other girls fall in line behind the queen. And then what the queen says goes. And then he looks to Katie, I think, for some sort of like, and she looks at him. She goes, I don't know what you want me to tell you. And I was like, Katie's fully done with him. Mm-hmm. And he just goes, all right. Th- then th- his like true hatred of women comes out. And he's like, uh, okay, cool, guys. Uh, yeah, you're all really right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. But he looks really upset. And oh, I was totally. like, crucify him. He came with like a little rugby kind of shirt on. Wanted to charm his way. I'm here for just people shitting on him for the rest of the season. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Put his back up against the wall. Make him cry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Haze him. It's time. It's time for the Toms to get hazed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're not the. You're, what a what a little kid thing to say. You're not the you're, queen. You're of not your, the queen of the group. She is though. You. She is. She's on Broadway. She's Lady Diana. She's you didn't Princess know. Princess Diana of the group. She is ascended. Step in. She line. literally is the Princess of Wales. Yeah. And you, and sir, you are a papa. Are merely. A court, peasant. You're a courtesan. You're a court jester, not even that. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, oh, okay. Her cool. ladies yeah, in waiting yeah. have spoken. And yeah. you? He will devastate you. He will piss in your eyeball. And he's like, that sounds great. He goes, I would drink it. Yeah. I'd drink the piss. He does it anyway. He goes, I like it. Um, we need Jax back. Jax would be great in this situation. Get, I don't want to watch The Valley. Ugh. <laughs> I'm really scared of the valley. Like Are we I'm recap it? probably for bonus episodes or maybe we'll do like mini episodes yeah. of it. But like the, f- these AI generated like cast members of the valley, like whoops are they, they know. scare me. They ignite a deep fear that I've never felt before. No, I'm like, it, it's fight or flight. When they're not that. real. No, I, I that love over there is not real that's me whenever i see the valley trailer and see like janet (laughs) (laughs) or like tiffany i'm like who the (laughs) are these people i'm literally i literally put like a helmet on and i get my like to go i get my like freak out bag bag. yeah Yeah. and i start i put load the gun i put like go rambo bullets around myself and i board up the house and i say who the are these people no i'm literally like head for the hills guys it's coming the, we need to evacuate now when i see janet they are that is a they are i'm these this people, is the horsemen of the apocalypse this is not real are these side characters in the valley that's like, we're on we are on the run now like, the valley are, is like a coded message from the government that's like the big one is coming like oh my God, it's scared. 2012 it's like california is about to break off yeah. and float away into the pacific ocean the day that the valley premieres i am tiffany like i truly believe that they are robot people they are i am tiffany they'll go Hello. jackson Brittany. would you like to come over for a drink tonight and talk about fun stuff just silly friend stuff in the valley i also live here in the valley they go what was what, what pre- did you get in a fight about last night <laughs> that <laughs> Like they are only allowed to say three lines. No, it's I'm telling. I was activated when I saw it. I was like, "This is we are." Who are they? I don't know. Like I'm ready to buy a satellite phone and find out like Andy Cohen's phone number <laughs> and satellite phone him and go, who, "Andy, who this is Lar? Who the f- are these people? Who the f- is Janet? I'm ready to kidnap Andy Cohen, like nab him from the streets in a van, bag <laughs> over the head, grab him into the van, ride, and then I go. All right, Andy, it's the f- time has come. Who the f- are these people in the valley? Like, shine a light in yeah. his face and force him to tell us what secrets the government. No, they're, they're, this is nothing good can come of this. They're FBI agents. What's going on? I don't know. It's really f- up. It's deeply f- up. It's unsettling. It's not okay. And what horrors await, we'll never know until it's too late. So Sheena plans her big, she's her big drive by where she. <laughs> Walks to the bathroom and just so happens to walk directly by the two top. She goes, and he goes, hey. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. He goes, no, first Sandoval gets up. He sits up from me. He goes, hey, Sheena, good to see you. And she goes, it stops her in her tracks. Goes, and the music goes, Poof. she goes, she goes, 
<laughs> her lips curl. She curls her because lips. she wants to laugh, I think. But not then. Then she is playing. The director goes, you're going to walk by Sandoval in the scene. He's going to shout at you. He's going to say hi. You won't even see it coming, not even from a mile away. The fear will stop you in your tracks. Ready? Action. And she goes. You, she and goes, Kyle Chan goes, hey, Sheena. And she goes, mm, hi. And Sandoval goes, hey, Sheena. And she goes. He goes, uh, can we talk for a sec? Do you mind if we talk for a little bit? And she goes, I won't do this. Not here. Not now. Not in front of all these people. We have to take it out somewhere else. Somewhere away from the crowds. We have to go. We have to go right now. <laughs> she goes, we have to go to the alley. And then she goes, I'm going to go take a shit right now. But, <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm done, we'll meet, meet me out in the back alley. Which I was like, I went. She's, I'm I went, gonna go take a crap. <laughs> I went like this when I when I found out that they were going to the alley of Sir. I went like this. I was. I come I was, when I see I that like, alley. Oh! And the, they set up a, and there's like there's like random drinks. It's an alley f- filled with memories. She comes out still wearing her sunglasses and she goes, and he goes, "Hey, you, your your sunglasses remind me of something. It's it's a uh, it's like a." Uh, you know, really uh, kind of like 2000s. She goes, yeah, Y2K. This is actually, she goes, I was actually going for a Y2K look. She goes, I was actually going for a Y2K look. She goes, a Y2K look I am going for. And he, and he goes like this. He goes, he goes, that's it. He goes, yes. 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 This is actually a Y2K sweater. For my she, friend, Ali. She goes, the one who's into brisket. <laughs> That was also that was such a like manipulative thing to wear the shirt to wear like a dead man sweater. He goes, yeah, I went and I got it out of his closet when I, you know, when I after he died. And she goes, it cannot phase. Yeah, she goes, okay. She goes, and and what do you want me to say? Yes, and he goes, hey, I got you like a vodka soda. I know you love those. And she goes, I'm three weeks sober today. Actually, she goes, actually, I'm three weeks sober today. (laughs) And he goes, oh, man, I had a feeling that you were probably sober. And she goes, yeah, three weeks. (laughs) 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 The literal, like, these people. I had a feeling you were sober. uh, No, you're right. Like, I had a feeling you were sober. I love, yeah. Three weeks. Three Three weeks. weeks today. I used to, there would be people who would be like, I stopped drinking. I haven't drank for a week. Like people, like friends would like brag about that kind of thing. And I'd be like, okay, f- what do you want to call the newspaper? Yeah. And to put, put a front page news. Yeah. Like, good for you. <laughs> oh my God. It's been a week. Congratulations. Gold medal. Congratulations. You have not drank in eight days, which, you know. That's a normal thing to do. But, it, but if you are like an addict, like that's a big feat. But I don't think Sheena's an addict. Yeah, but like three weeks. She was three weeks today. Yeah, three weeks. She's still wearing her sunglasses and he's like, hey, man. So like, I just, I miss you, man. She is well, I didn't appreciate being blocked. And he's like, oh, you have to understand, man. Like everyone was <laughs> turning on me. I had to defend myself. I was just going through a lot that day, man, when Ali died. And I just like, I couldn't handle it, man. He goes, I've apologized to you so heartedly, man. Man. So <laughs> and, she, and she goes, well, was it good enough? I don't there know are many more I people forgot. you have to apologize. He goes, I would love to talk to Ariana, man. But Man, like, I would love to talk to Ariana. <laughs> I would love to talk to Ariana, doll. She's a rock star now. She's Lady Diana. I can't get close to can't her. Can't penetrate her security. <laughs> He's like, "Man, she's got SWAT teams out. I can't get past her security, man. They're foolproof." Literally all he would have to do is he like walk down the hall. Knock on her door yeah. and be like, "Man, hey man, can I sit down, dude?" And she's like, She's like, dude, you need to take this into your own hands. I can't help you. You need to be truly sorry. And he goes, well, it's f***ed up that you had these people on your podcast. Like, just so you know, that really hurt her when you said, when you had Nima on and and said that. The best line reading ever. I just want you to know that. But she said it, Tom. Give this an Oscar now. She said it, Tom. That is Mm Emmy-worthy. 
She goes, I have to go back. She goes, I have to go back to my daughter. I love when she says like, I love when someone on a reality show goes, I need to go back to my children. Everyone loves to get on their kids high horse whenever they're done with you. And like, they're like, I actually have to go back to my kids now. Like, and, okay. And then the entire Uber ride back to Marina, Sheena was like this. The guy, she gets in, the guy goes, Sheena? And she goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, uh, going to Marina Del Rey? And she goes, certainly. <laughs> well, I think so. I sometimes I'm like... A man also is in the wide shot, just a rogue man is filming them on the phone. They can't the escape. Alley. It's so crazy. Someone, that's a gay that knows like that's where the alley is. That's where I would go. But like there's always just a filmer now in the background. Yeah. It's too crazy. It's too much. It's too much. Sometimes I imagine like these people, I like can't imagine them sleeping. So I just imagine them. They're getting filmed. No, I just imagine them powering off. Hmm. Hmm. They shut themselves in a closet and plug themselves in. Sheena goes like this. <laughs> Sheena <laughs> sleeps with her eyes open. <laughs> she goes, okay, good night, Brock. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night, Summer Moon. Good night, Brock. <laughs> So we leave on this emotional note. He goes, goes, Man, goes, I miss Sheena. He goes, I miss our friendship, our 14 years of friendship. She's got nothing but heart, man. And I miss her. I miss that. I miss that crazy dude. And then it goes, if you or someone you know are struggling with thoughts of suicide, please call. I was like, That should have been at well, the- I was like, everyone I know is struggling <laughs> with thoughts of suicide. Yeah, what? Who is it? Everyone who watched VPR from season one onward has struggled with thoughts of suicide. I was also like, this should have been on every single episode, episode from for- the jump. Or like if you were struggling with addiction, call like this disclaimer yeah. like should have been played before and after episode one. Yeah. It should have tracking shot <laughs> Sheena walking into Sir and then flashed to black and was like, if you or anyone you know is struggling with suicide, Don't please watch this. call this number <laughs> right the f- now. I got to go back to Summer Moon. Well, I have to go back to Summer Moon. I have to go back to Marina Del Rey. See you at the beach. I like Zoloft Sheena. Zoloft Sheena is all about sunglasses, Summer Moon. And being cool, calm, and collected in doing line deliveries. It's what she and said. Being, and acting. It's what she said, Tom. That was Julia Roberts. Level. It was. I got the chills. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for like Tahoe. I'm ready for Sandoval to be in the mix and just get f- eviscerated by the ladies in waiting. I need him in every scene, though. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not interested in anyone else's anything i'm interested in sheena going like this i hope she just only wears those glasses for the rest of the season Mm. every single scene she's in i'd love it um this was a good episode Mm. better than last episode yeah i'm just like a little bit bored you're like worried. I need more excitement yeah. or like even just like a tease of something happening. It will. But I am compelled by Sandoval. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's giving me at least like something to <sighs> if only we hate watch. Tell. I know. It's criminal that we don't have her. They really f***ed up. It's also like. Hey, Raquel, it's Gina. You should come back on the show. Get back here. Three weeks sober. <laughs> They also can't be sober. No. No. They it should be in their relapse. contract that they have to drink. You must relapse. Mm-hmm. Dolls. Let's do, a, let's do a cult shout out to our... We dropped one from the cult since yesterday. <sighs> the cult life isn't for everyone. Mm-hmm. That's always what happens whenever someone like is excited about a number they've reached of like followers. You literally... Someone goes, I'm divesting. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. You won't get your name called then. Mm-hmm. Gina Sapienza. Sapienza. Sarah Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Lucy from London. Lucy from London. Doll. Lady Lucy. Lady Lucy. Lady Diana. Over here. Over here. Over here. Brooke Johansson. Brooke Johansson. Rachel Knight. Rachel McAdams. Brittany Ryan Weiss. Brittany Ryan Weiss. Danielle McMillan. McMillan. Lady Swampwitch. Give no f- 
Lazara, Lazara. Mazatov, Mary, 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 Mike Earhart, Kerry Oaks, Kerry Oaks, Sharon Baum, Sharon realtor, Baum, realtor, the only realtor in the game, the only one, Timothy Shield, Timothy Chalamet, Claire Worsley, Claire Worsley, Owsley, Owsley, Mariah Carey, Kathy West, Kathy, Diane Weist, Rochelle Martino, Rochelle Martino, Kit Moore, Kit Moore, Hillary, Hillary, Orlando, Orlando, Patron of the Farts, Patron of the Farts, Nick Sedaris, Sedaris, Emily, Emily. Kim Lucas. Kim Lucas and Jeffrey Pradama, Pradama, Pradama. <laughs> Guys, tickets are on sale for our Sup Goes West tour. Go to sexyuniquepodcast.com and get a ticket now. They're going like hotcakes. And you won't want to miss this show. It's going to be really fun. Love and light. Bye. Bye.